Dear friends, uh, I will tell you how to do graphically by face and limb method or shaft alignment. How to make calculations by graph uh, by using face and limb uh, method. One method is you can use the formula. You already know the formula. You can just put the value. It is easy. In fact, I will uh, I will uh, uh, like to do by formula because that is more better uh, to do it. But anyhow, just I tell you for just for information. These are your readings. Radial reading is plus 40, and uh, this is your angle reading plus 30 here. Your dial indicator is in one small division is equal point zero one millimeter in your dial indicator, and you take scale. On x axis, one scale is equal to 10 millimeter, and scale on y axis is one scale is equal to 0.1 millimeter. So, what you have got, you have taken reading coupling diameter L1, L2, you know what is coupling diameter. I am using the name coupling diameter, but actually, it is the diameter of the circle in which the dial indicator is rotating on the face of the motor coupling hub. You have, this is your motor and it is movable and here is your pump. So this is your required position. And so let us what we will do. We will so your angular reading becomes this is your of course I will tell you. So from here to here will be your coupling diameter. These are 10 scales, so it becomes 100 millimeter. From here to here is 200 millimeter, these are 20 scales, and from here to here is 30 scales. That uh, that is equal to 300 millimeter. So your angular reading is plus 30. So you will take three scales: one, two, three. These are three scales, and you join these two points, and you extend this line. Then you come to front side, and you note down how many scales are there. These are six scales, so it be, become 0.6 millimeter. So you will add 0.6 millimeter on the front side, and here you come. These are 9 scales so it becomes 0.9 millimeter so you are going to add 0.9 millimeters uh, thick shim on the back side then your radial reading is plus 40 so you will divide it by 2 so it becomes 0.2 millimeter so you will take at this point starting point uh, here your reading is 2 scales so 0.2 millimeter 0.1 plus 0 0.1 0 0.2 millimeter so then again you will draw this line parallel to this line. So this will give you the total correction for the front side which becomes 0.6 plus 0.2 which is 0.8 millimeter and this gives you a total uh, correction for back side which is 0 0.9 plus 0 0.2 which is 1.1 millimeter. So that was all about by graph. Thank you very much.